Hello everyone, I am Perplexality, and you're about to watch some pretty good CTF gameplay. I would go 22 and 2, but I'm from the ODST Halo Guide YouTube channel, and on the ODST Halo Guide we make tons of Halo 4 videos. Uh, we have gameplays, we have strategies, tip videos, everything you'll really need. I think I'm actually going to do a campaign walkthrough at some point if I get the time. So go ahead and watch out for that. You see, I'll start off on the main Slayer, so I'm going to grab the Sniper. I've got the easy first strike. I'm going to get a double kill, and OV is already kind of loose on his shield. I'm going to get the easy triple kill to start off with the first strike. So we're going pretty easy. We pretty much eliminated OV. We didn't quite get it, so we lost a little bit of momentum there. But we were able to nullify any momentum they gained. So I wanted to kind of talk about uh, different ways to play, because as you see, I'm a bit more aggressive than uh, I used to be in a lot of my videos. I played a lot more conservatively. This video, I easily could have gotten a perfection if I were really sitting back and camping. But uh, in order to win games, you really got to get very aggressive and learn to play. If you play a lot of game types like Team Doubles or TTD, which is Team Throwdown, uh, you'll learn to really be aggressive and kind of push forward and get a lot of stuff like that. So you see, I learned to place those grenades and play it smart. Fortunately, I get taken out by a sniper. This phase is just going to cut to the end of the respawn just to make it a little less time so you guys got to watch my dead body. Uh, just a little bit of a cut so you guys don't have to sit there so long. That upper dispatch tower is a great place to camp. So you'll see pretty much my strategy for this is uh, you want to move around the map smart. You, just because you're going aggressive doesn't mean you need to haul butt into there. You don't need to go through middle or anything. The only reason you should go through middle is if you're camping up top middle with a sniper rifle, a lot of people can do that because you get a lot of cover up there. If you're going for overshield, which spawns in the middle, which if you're timing it, you have nothing to worry about. You can just go in and quickly pop out whenever you need it and then run away with the overshield or go challenge anyone who's trying to challenge you. Or if you're trying to get the flag and you need to get it fast and through the middle is the best way to do it if you're trying to get it through fast. Other than that, really stay on these areas. If you stay up here, you'll get a lot of the upper ground. Ooh, this is kind of embarrassing where I missed the, uh, where I missed the easy kill I could have had. Yeah, so always make sure you keep firing until you notice the person's dead. Right there, I think the host quit or something, so we did get a new generating game thing started over. But again, pretty much just sitting up here. Uh, staying on these edges, you keep the high ground of anyone who's really below. You can see pretty much across the map, and not a lot of people can see you. Only people coming from the tubes or uh, across the map in very certain areas. But you see right here, as you get more aggressive, you're able to see more of the enemy base. And the more of the enemy base you can see, the more of the spawns you can see. And if you have a sniper rifle, if you can see it, you can kill it. So if you can see more spawns, you can kill a lot more people off the spawn and control a lot of people who are alive. So especially being the main slayer, you got to push forward. Uh, it's way better than a lot of my conservative gaming. Like I said, I could have easily gotten a perfection if I were playing very conservatively. But it's really important to get aggressive. And I think it's important that you play a lot of different game types in order to get aggressive. You don't want to just stick to Infinity Slayer or just stick to Infinity CTF because what that will eventually do is it will get you into this mindset where you just play a certain way. You never really develop a much better sniper or a much better 1v1 kind of mindset. So what I've done uh, really recently is played a lot of Team Doubles and Team Throwdown. So that's a really competitive playlist. And the better people you play against, uh, the better you're going to get. It's just the laws of pretty much how it works. Should not have jumped forward there. Still managed to get the kill, but dang it, if I could have just jumped backwards, I would have stayed alive. But yeah, you just want to go ahead and push forward, stay a lot more aggressive than you usually do um, if you are the main slayer. And support people really need to have your back. Make sure you coordinate with them. Checking that radar, I almost got taken out of the game right there. So, like I said, just continue uh, improving. As long as you keep challenging yourself and keep playing harder games, you're going to get better. Uh, and if you take these little tip guides, it just speeds up the process of things that you would probably normally notice on your own. But as you see, just pushing up a lot more aggressive. Even pushing up by myself, I can make a difference right here. As you see, I'm going to go ahead and pick up uh, the last two kills. He left the sniper one shot, and then I'm going to take out the other guy's shield with a grenade. And I'm just going to pull the flag. Uh, another great advice of how you play, I played that Magnum Only games where I got that Magnum Only Perfection. I'll put that link in the description if you want to watch it. Uh, but when I get the Magnum Only Perfection, I spend a lot of time using Magnum Only games. And that increases your Magnum skill a lot. So if you think you're good with the Magnum uh, regularly, when you have the Magnum with the flag, you're just overpowered. So I'm just mowing down these guys right here, no problem. So again, just different ways to play, have all these different advantages to learn from. So I hope you guys don't isolate yourselves to a single playlist. Uh, learn to expand what you're watching and everything. 
But uh, that's pretty much it for this video. We're running out of time. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. This has been ODST Halo Guide. I'm Perplexality. If you guys like the video, click in the description. I have plenty more that I upload just like this or even better. I have 52 in 1. I'm freaking believable. I have perfections with Magnum only. Everything you can want. So go ahead and just uh, look for everything in the description. And if you guys like it and you really want to get updates, you can go ahead and subscribe so you know right when new content comes out. And it helps me out a lot. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Again, comment, rate, subscribe. I'm ODST Halo Guide, and I'm leaving. ODST, out.